Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. So what we're remaining with is the system of selecting a year and selecting a semester. So let's start with the year thing. So after this name, let's add something at the end there for us to be able to select a year. So I'll go to my private views and includes and nav view here. And right here where we have, this is the unordered list where we have this uh, logout item. Let me see what happens if I add an input here and where it's going to be positioned in the grand scheme of things. So it's, it's on the right spot there. So this, uh, uh, input, let's change it to a drop down select instead. Okay, so a select with options, and let's add some classes and form control is one of those. In the option, uh, we're just going to say year, I like this, and let's refresh. Okay, there we go. And we can give it a maximum width here. So style and let's say max width, let's say 100 pixels. Let's see how well that looks. Okay, that should do just fine. Instead of year, the very first option should be the current year right now, whatever year um, we are in, but for now, uh, I'm just going to leave it the way it is here. We will put some options uh, later. So it's going to be something like a 2021 and then 2020 and then 2019, something like this. So that when you click on this, uh, this is what you get. Okay, so at least we have a year thingy here now we can select what year we want to view so like this if we select a particular year we only see uh, classes for that particular year and then we will use also the semester at the same time to only uh, see classes of that particular semester this way a teacher is forced to create new classes per semester and add students there okay so from that, what we want to do is let's go to our um, uh, database here. And in here, we want to go to users so that we can know uh, because each user can select a year they want to view. So let's give it a um, let's create one more column here for year. Uh, that way we know exactly what the user is trying to uh, um actually maybe we can save that in the session i think that would be uh, a better option okay i think uh, let's not mess with the database we already have the school id here we can do a similar thing where we switch school ids and all that but um year should not be as permanent as this so i think we're just going to use the um, the session instead uh, here. So what we'll do is to, to know how many years to add here, because if we had code these years here, it won't make sense because it doesn't, it depends on um, your situation. It might not be 2021. We, you might be watching this in the future, maybe 2030. So we need to be able to do that. So the way we're going to do this is to look at classes. So if we go to classes here, we're just going to try and find the very first class that was ever created and what year it was created in. So if this class was created in 2020, so let's just edit it a little bit here and add 2020 instead of 2021. Okay, so that was in 2020. All right. So what we would do is let's go to uh, core and create a function to easily do all this for us. 
So we'll go down here to the very end and let's create a function. So we'll call this function uh, get years. Something like this. Okay. This should return an array of years. So let's set this to an empty array like so okay and what we want to do is look for the um, uh, the year so in the database of classes so let's create a new database here that way we can read from the database and let's add a query so the query is going to read something like select uh, date because all we want really from here is the date column so select date from classes that's the table uh -huh. where actually we don't need a where clause we just need to get the very first record and to do this we're just going to say select or uh, select date from classes order by id ascending so ascending starts with um, the very first number and then if we limit it to only one result it means we're going to get the very first record here so just say uh, limit one so order by ascending and limit one. So if you say order by descending and limit one, we'll get the very last record. So here I'm just going to say um, row is equal to db query like that. And let's add our query in there like so. Since there are no variables in here, no need to put an array there. Now, what I want to do is add to this array right here. And I'll say if row, meaning uh, something good was returned, what we will do is add years to this. Uh -huh. So let's begin by saying, uh, remember this is a date value so we can get specifically what we want the second the minute the hour or the year month or day we can be very specific so what i want to get is the year is equal to and we'll use the date function now the date function will get a string format and all we want is the year so we just put capital y and we want to get this from the date which is inside row zero because this returns an array of objects and then we'll point to date like so now the thing is this is not the format that the date function gets it gets a unix timestamp so what we'll do is convert this to a unix timestamp by saying uh we could converting it to uh, seconds since 1970 till now. So we'll say string to lower. So this will change this into an integer instead of a date like this. Okay, so, so this is now uh, an integer which this can take and get a year from there. Now, once we get the year, uh, this will be the very first record in there we can now add it to that so i'm just going to say um, uh, array like that is equal to year like so all right cool so we start with that minimum year and if none of this is true if we don't find any records, all we need to do is add the current year. So how do we get the current year? We do exactly the same thing here. We use the date function. We put capital Y. But because the function time gets a Unix timestamp for the current time, we're just going to say time like so. So this will tell us the current year. And we'll add it there. But on this one here, once we add the first one, 
we just need to check if the current year um, what the current year is so cur year which is short for current year is equal to this one so let me copy this and paste it there so for as long as uh, if let's use a while loop here to populate this and i'm going to say while a condition here so while current year uh, let's see here while the year that we were given here uh, let's say this is 2020 while this year is less than uh, the current year what we will do is we uh, we add one to the year so we're just going to say year is equal to uh, uh, we'll say plus equals one okay so we add one year to it and uh, we add this so this year is the year of the date and then current year is equal to this one then we added this year to this and then once we add to it let's add it again like so by the time we are done here year is supposed to be equal to something substantial let's see oh we want to check what's in here so at this point i want to return that array so this array will contain years so let's say uh the first record was in 2010 it's going to add numbers up to 2020 for as long as the year is less than the current year this will continue to loop now let's get this get years and let's go to the nav bar and right above this I just want to add my PHP tags and say show get years like so that way we'll get to see exactly what's uh, in there uh -huh. so we get an error very nice now it's time to fix it so uncode type error date argument to timestamp must be of type int string given so that's 363 so it's saying it's expecting an integer but a string was given so right here hmm okay one thing we can do instead is to uh die here and return or oh, no need to die if we say return because it will uh it will return anyway so if we do that we get this date uh, that okay so it's an object and that is all good that is nice and good so this seems to be working fine oh sorry my bad this is a wrong thing I did so it's expecting an integer I, I changed this string to lower it's supposed to be string to time sorry about that wrong function so this changes it to an integer instead of the string that we got the first time. So refresh and there we go. So you see we get 2020 and then we get 2021. But we want to start with the, the other one. So we are going to return here, return, um, let's say our sort reverse sort like this so that we can flip uh the 2021 should come first oh sorry about that uh we need to send it to an array like this oh wait a minute oh wait wait a minute wait a minute sorry about that uh, let's move this you see our sort uh, reverse sort there's a uh, sort like this then there's reverse sort so our sort or sort 
what it returns is true or false a one or a zero to indicate whether the sorting happened or not but it changes the actual array so i don't need to equate it to something because that will be an integer for zero or one so instead i want it to sort this array in place and then i return the same array so let's see what we get with that and there we go so we've reverse sorted it so that 2021 comes first 2020 comes down here now let's see if it works very well if we can change this date to 2010 like so so back here if i refresh you see now i get all these years uh, from 2010 11 up to 2021 so things are working well let me just change this to 2018 so we don't have so much to see and there we go all right, so now with this information, we can now um, uh, we can now add that to here. So get years uh, here will be uh, years is equal to get years like that. Okay, cool. And now all we need to do is loop through this. And that'll be it. So let's try it for each loop here. And I'll say for each. Remove that. Okay, so for each years as year. So let's put that here. And then end for each down here. That's cool. Um, Oh, it did this for me. That's that, that, that's awesome. So let me move this upward in there like so. And then I can just echo the year and like that. Let's move this here. Oops, what am I doing? I've clicked the insert by mistake. So year, close that, uh, close that tag. All right, so refresh. Oops syntax error on line 101 let me see if i can figure it out uh, for each year's oh this one should be as year refresh and there we go okay so pretty good now i want us to once we select this it should refresh the page and change or we can put a button here to go so that we can update uh, the year that we want to be viewing okay so if we refresh this now it's on 2021 which is correct the current year and let's leave it at that so in the next video let's see how we can have it update here very quickly